hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to instruct you about how to create calculator in python so let's start here i'm having a platform which we call a google collab you can use any other platform raplet or pycharm platform so where you can create a python program so i'm just using a google collab platform which is uh, like available online and you will able to use it in an easy way without uh, wasting your computer memory also so here what i'm using is simply is like uh, i'm just going to explain how to create a calculator for calculator you need to understand you need uh, two things uh, first that will be two numbers if you want to work with three numbers you can do that one also so we're gonna work with two numbers and operators on the basis of like user choice we are going to do addition subtraction multiplication and the division first i'm going to do uh, with the help of like functions in python so to do this program we have to write def uh, in this particular program so def is like simply you're defining a function and after this you have to give the function name so let me write add means addition so i'm just writing def just defining a function and the function name is add and inside this i'm just going to pass parameters which is actually a variable names so i'm just going to write now one comma num two so i'm just going to deal with two numbers for now after that i'm just going to use colon and then next line so this is the way how you're going to describe a function and inside function you're going to do one thing you're going to give a task to the computer what do you want to do with num1 and num2 inside the particular function the function name is add so inside you can give the related to addition uh, like you want to do addition of like num1 and num2 so for that i'm just going to write a return so return is a keyword which is already predefined uh, in python where you can use it and it is going to return something in an output so return can return output i mean value and sometimes not because it depends on the function only so i'm just going to write num1 plus num2 after this i need to do same thing for addition subtraction and the multiplication so let me copy it then i'm going to make it here instead of add i'm going to make it sub that will be short form of subtraction and here i'm going to use mines symbol okay after this i'm just going to write same thing just copy paste it here and i'm going to write multiplication simple mult and then i'm just going to use here symbol of multiplication after this i'm just going to do same thing for division that will be like changing the function name here so it will be div and here i'm going to use slash so this slash is acting as a division so i just created a four task actually that will be addition subtraction multiplication and division now what i need to do is simply i need to ask user uh, what is your choice of like uh, what you want to do with the num and num2 whether you want to do addition subtraction multiplication division as per their choices we are going to give uh, like a program we are going to create a program where we are going to explain a condition statement if this condition like for example a user is choosing addition so we are going to tell the computer that particular person has chosen addition operator so you have to do this thing on the basis of the uh, condition you have to do this thing so for that we have to create an operator variable first so inside i'm going to use input which is going to help you help me to take input from the user so i'm just going to write enter operators so it can be plus minus divide and the multiplication then i'm just going to give a conditional if operator is equal to plus if the operator is equal to plus then you have to do some like task then you have to print something for that what i'm going to do is simply i'm just going to tell the computer you have to return whatever is in the first function that is this one for that what you need to do remember that if you are defining a function it won't show you any like output until you're gonna call it once you call it it will show you so for 
for that i'm just going to write addition here like this so inside this you have to give argument i mean variable name will be here variable name will be here so you can give input like uh, whatever input you want to take from the people as per their choices they have like some uh, like calculation they want to do with any number so you can give that one or you can put directly so for that i'm just going to write number one equal let's make it in input because we're gonna work with number only enter first number and then i'm just going to create another variable that will be number two and same thing in input it means whatever input you want to take a data from the user that should be only integer that is number so i'm just going to write enter second number remember it depends on this how many parameters you have passed if you have passed two parameters remember you have to give uh, like argument only two that is value should be two only don't give three if you are going to give three it will show an error like you have explained here only two parameters but you are giving argument three so vice versa you can't have like uh, three arguments and uh, two parameters or three parameters and two arguments no it should be equal so now i have explained it like number one and number two so here i'm just going to write number one comma number two so these number one and number two variables are just acting as a like value or arguments of these two parameters or variable names now same thing you have to do for another one that we will call like subtraction multiplication and the division so i'm just going to do one thing i'm going to write alif which means else if i'm going to give another condition that will be minus and and after this i'm just going to write same thing here so let me copy it and let's paste it here and instead of add you have to write sub now because you are dealing with subtraction only right now so then i'm just going to copy this one here again so now my operator will be multiplication operator so here i'm just going to call only this function so the function name is mult mult so after this i'm just going to do same thing for the division for that you have to make a slash and you can just write here div because my function name is here div so you need to call the same with the same name so i'm just writing div now all the conditions i have given like if the user is going to uh, type plus symbol and then what it is going to do it is going to call like this particular function and it is going to tell the computer whatever is inside just do that and the argument i mean the value of those num1 and num2 is number one and number two which you're gonna take input from the user and uh, you have to do you have to take those argument those values and do add call the add function so in the add function what is return what it is going to return num1 plus num2 it means it is going to return addition of two numbers same thing with subtraction multiplication and the division now for example for now we are having only four operators people can press uh, like type any other operator also for that we're going to use else print please choose plus minus divide or multiplication operator so if all these conditions become false like if the user is not typing any of these like symbols plus minus multiplication operator or a division operator then our else is gonna work so it will be simply it is going to show them message about please choose plus minus divide or multiplication operator that is star when like uh, operator only let's write here only so we have done like our calculator thing so let's run and check the output right now so it's running right now you can see 
so it's running our cell so this particular we call it cell and inside the cell we can just have the code and if you want to add another cell you need to click on this you need to insert another cell by just click on the plus code so it's asking me like enter operator so it is giving option also so let me write addition after that it is saying first number so i want to do addition of 80 with 70 so after that you can see it is giving me 150 80 plus 70 150 because uh, after giving two numbers here and i'm choosing plus sign so it is working with this one only yeah now, now let's run again and let's give like modulus operator which is not present here right now so it will give me uh some uh like some value that will be like a message please choose plus minus divide or multiplication operator only because we don't have any modulus or other operators available right now so let's do that one also so i'm just going to write 70 77 so it is telling me please choose like this or these operators only because we don't have it's not giving me any output because we have given the condition if all these condition becomes false so you have to work with this only so it is doing that one so i hope you like it so please share like and comment my channel and uh, for next video i'm going to show a lot of uh, related to python thing so till then bye bye take care